How do you homeschool when your life's in chaos? Hey and hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about homeschooling when it's pretty crazy and chaotic, that your life events that are going on in your life are such that are like my life right now. Chaos. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you homeschool when you have things going on in your life that are just kind of uncontrollable? You just can't dedicate every waking moment to homeschool. Well today, if you stick around and that's something that you wanna hear, we're gonna be talking about that. When you're a homeschool mom, you're doing so much already. I mean, that's just a given. But when you add another of these crazy life moments onto it, your stress level can go through the roof. And so we're trying to make your life in the homeschool area less stressful. The first thing you've gotta do is you've gotta block out your schedule for school. And I know this sounds simplistic, but I can guarantee you when you have something stressful, when you have something that's going on in your life, you forget all these things and things kind of slip your mind because you're worried about all these other things. So this may seem basic, but it is very crucial. So decide what block is best, morning, afternoon, whatever, and write it down. Put it on a schedule, put it on a piece of paper, tap it on your wall, on your fridge, wherever, and remember that you have a set time for your school. Now you could also think about the days of the week that you're going to school. Maybe you take Mondays off because that's a time where you can get a lot of stuff done and your kids can do activities that they can do by themselves while you're dealing with whatever. Or you take Fridays off and do school Monday through Thursday. So you can be flexible around that. That's the great thing about homeschool. You can schedule your life however you need it. So that brings me to the second thing, be consistent. I know you're gonna be like, oh, I knew that was coming. Now, there are times when things are so bad that you have the option of not doing school. And I've used that option before. But if you have a longer term thing that's happening in your life, like um, you're morning sick for your whole pregnancy or whatever it is, you need to try and be consistent with whatever school you can. This will allow you to continue to homeschool, even in difficult, crazy times. I can't tell you enough how important this is. Consistency tells your kids that this is important to you. School in our family is important, and so we are going to do it. Now, it may not be the perfect looking school that you really want and that you want to focus on, but make sure that it happens. That will bring your stress levels down even more. Block out your day and then be consistent with it. Here is the third thing that we're gonna talk about along with schedules and being consistent is you need to contain all of your school stuff. There is nothing more stressful to me than to have everything of my homeschool stuff strewn about the house, the car, the backyard, wherever. I call it the homeschool monster. I have a video about that and it is so stressful on a mom and a whole family just to have school stuff everywhere, especially if you're in like a remodel like me or you're having a baby or you're having visitors over or whatever your life stressful situation is, you need to contain all of that school stuff. So find a container, find a shelf, find a closet, something where after you're done with school, you can put everything back in it. Now, sometimes you have to be mobile with your school. So I came up with something. Now, I don't even remember what life event was going on, but I came up with a system where I got these office boxes for my kids and they are the kind that you put files in it. And I gave each one of my children their own color and they could decorate it with stickers and put their name on it and make it theirs. We call them our school boxes. It was great because they put everything that they needed and it had a handle on it and we could go here and go there, go down to the park, do it at the kitchen table. And then after we were done, this is the best part, you put everything back in the box. Sweet, awesome. That was so freeing for me during those really stressful times. Ah, peace peace amongst the chaos. Ah. The fourth thing I want you to remember, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the situation that you are dealing with 
Be patient with your children. This will end and you will get to that place where you want to be when things are normal and you can focus back on homeschool. Just have patience and know it will end. That is my biggest form of advice of this whole video. And the last thing, just lower your expectations for homeschool. I know that sounds like something you don't want to hear, but if you lower your expectations, you will have more peaceful days. Life is not always going to be perfect. You know that. You're going to always be thrown a curveball every once in a while. And so you have to learn the skill of knowing how to balance life and homeschooling. I know you can do it. It's possible. I've done it. I've been through so many different life changes, life events, and I still continued to homeschool because that is what's really important to me. You homeschool moms are the best. You are the true superheroes. And I am so proud of you. You gotta block out your schedule, be consistent, have a place for your things, be patient, and lower your expectations. When life is giving you lemons, you can still make lemonade. <laughs> That was kind of corny. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to my imperfect life. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.